Israel Matega Zulu, aka GP My Orange, has had quite the life. From growing up with an abusive stepfather, losing his leg, losing roles, the death of his son, and going to jail. Hey friends, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at Israel Zulu's tragic life experiences. Growing up with an abusive stepfather. Israel was raised by his mother and his grandmother and only got to know about his father when he was 14 years old. His mother later remarried but life with his stepfather was difficult. The two never got along while his half-brother got all the love and attention. Israel got abused physically, often without a reason. He was deprived of a lot of things, things his half-brother got like new clothes, toys and holidays away. He says, I became my own father at 11. I was my own father figure because I didn't have anyone else to rely on. He started out as a street vendor selling apples and peanuts at the bus station. He also reveals that he was also a problem child. He says I was a problem child whenever there was some sort of celebration at home, I would either get arrested or sick. Getting locked up at 12. He says, at 12, I stole a car in Orange Grove. I used to steal strictly from the whites. Because Israel was living a difficult life at home, he had to fend for himself. He started hustling. In his hustling, he got up with the wrong crowd, a group of boys who were hardcore criminals. From 1988 to the early 90s, he was breaking the law regularly. His first arrest was after he had stolen a white man's car. He got off and then got back to his life of crime. At 14 years old, he was arrested again. And in an effort to soften the magistrate, he rocked up wearing his school uniform. He got away with four lashes and a criminal record. All that did was push him further to more crime. By grade 9, he had dropped out, which ultimately led him to being sentenced to eight years in prison in 1996 for housebreaking and theft. Luckily for him, it didn't get to serve his full sentence. He was released early due to his good behavior. He says being arrested was actually a good thing because it helped him focus on his dreams of becoming an actor. He says, if I had not been charged, I would still be stuck in my bad ways. Luckily, he met well-connected people in prison and just like that, he got into acting and soon after, he was in Hizo Hizo, losing his son. Although the actor has never introduced the women in his life, he had two sons, Tebuho and Benedict. Unfortunately, Tebuho was shot and killed in 2011 at the age of 14. He explained the version of events that he knows. He says, one day I was sleeping. There was a knock on my door. I was told my son had died. He was shot. They were playing around with a gun. The actor questions why he wasn't called immediately but was only told after the blood had been cleaned already and his son had already been taken to hospital where he died. Before he died, I warned him about the person who shot him. I didn't know anything about him but I didn't like him. I told him not to hang out with them but in the end, he failed to listen to me. Sadly, Israel's son also didn't get the justice he deserved. Israel is currently parenting his last born, Benedict, who is 19 years old now saying goodbye to gomora just after joining gomora he started feeling pain in his legs but he thought it was a passing phase but unfortunately the pain persisted in the end his character had to be written off the show because the pain was preventing him from working properly or functioning well on set the pain escalated until he had to amputate one of his legs losing his leg Israel's leg was amputated in 2021 due to gangrene. His doctor suspected it was due to his smoking habit, so he quit smoking. He recalls the following, I would sleep on a couch for seven months every night because whenever I tried to sleep on the bed, the pain would be unbearable. Doctors advised him to amputate it before it could affect his kidney or the other leg. He says he has healed emotionally, mentally and physically. Although he forgets he doesn't have two legs anymore and keeps falling down, the good thing is his prostate leg is on the way. However, he has risen above all of this to give us some of the best content Mzansi has ever seen. He has graced shows like Gomora Izo Izo, award-winning films including Tzotzi, I Am All Girls, The First Grader, The Good Light, to name a few.